What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today is the last day, last day, best day. And I think today we're just pretty much gonna try to do everything that we haven't done or eat. Eat all the things we haven't eaten. Yeah, since we've been here. So first off, we are starting with Lore's Cafe. We ran in there before our like, original like tour, the first tour we did. They got some food and she's like, I gotta come back to that place because it's really good. Yeah, they have like this sausage roll thing. It was like one of the best things I've eaten here. Plus, I just want like a plain croissant to eat, honestly. Oh, you, you really haven't gotten that, have you? Well, we have one the other day, but it had like a glaze on it. I just want like a plain savory one. All right, let's go. National bird of Porto is the seagull. As you guys can see in some of the drone footage that they are in abundance. And surprising to us, the Portuguese seagulls are very aggressive, especially when it comes to drones. Are you getting used to these hills yet? I love you, Porto, but I am not going to miss these hills. You're not, getting used, you're, not, you're not getting used to it at all? It's like I always think I am. I'm like, oh, this one's not too bad, but <laughs> when I'm in the middle of it, I'm like... Fuck my life. Yeah. I think that I'm excited to see everything, so I don't really notice it as much. I mean, they still suck, but I think I just don't notice the hills because I'm just like, let's go over here, let's go over here. Like, this is what we're looking at right now. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Look at all this goodness. I think that's like an apple strudel. That looks good. That looks good. And then they have this more... This place is quite popular. There's always a ton of people in here. Yeah, it's always packed. So that means, I guess it's good. But are you excited? I know you couldn't get what you wanted because you slept in a little too early, too late. They were out of the sausage roll thing, but show me what you got. I don't know if they're out of it, honestly. I just think that they're switching over to lunch and it's like 11.30 right now. So I don't know what I got. It looked like it had sugar on it, shrimp and beef. Yeah, I got a beef one. I think this is the beef one. These are the shrimp ones. It's like a paste. Yeah, it, it looks delicious, yeah. doesn't it? Don't you want to try it, Laura? Not the shrimp. Is it busted? Well, it's good. It's definitely, it's definitely different. It's not fishy either. Let me try the beef one. So you think this is the beef one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure because these ones have the ridges, and then that one is like a circle. Yeah, that looks like beef. It tastes like roast beef. Really? Mm-hmm. Next on the list is this egg custard tart thing. I can't remember. I'll put the name on the screen right now, but these are bomb. I'm taking the first bite. Damn. Pastis de nada. Thank you. This one might be even better than the other one. Lord be taking the biggest bites of my food. This one's better. Highly recommend checking out Confeteria Sao Domingos. If you get a chance while you're in Porto, amazing food, super easy to grab on the way to wherever you're going, and everything we've had has been good. Super cheap too, so that's always a plus. We discovered a new part of the city. We haven't been over here yet. I believe we've driven by it, but it's actually nice to like see it. It's like a little park area. People, like yesterday, everyone was like chilling on the, on the lawn. It just seems so clean and open and fresh here. It is really clean now that I think about it. And they have so many of these little like park area spots that have like monuments in the middle of them. So what do you want to do today? I don't know, because I feel like we've done so much already in yeah. the time that we've been here. I kind of want to go see if we can hop on one of those trams that goes around the city. Okay. I don't know, I've heard they get really full and busy, so we'll see if we can get in there. Let's go check it out. I'm also noticing a lot more tour groups today than we did last week when we were first here. I wonder if this is like a European holiday or something. Well, Easter's next weekend, so maybe. Oh look, there's a tram right there. We arrived at the perfect time. The tram just pulled up, and hopefully we can get on. There's a long line. I'm not sure if we'll make this one, to be honest. Also, I'd like to point out, and I'm very proud of this for this, that we have not taken a single Uber. Oh yeah. While we've been here, we have walked everywhere, mostly because of Thane. It's a walkable I city. To take Ubers, but. <laughs> no, it's a super walkable city. So that ended up being a bust. They're not even like halfway through the line to get everyone on and it's like pretty much full in there. And I think people end up lining up like pretty early for whenever the next bus is or yeah. next tram is. So definitely like get here early if you really, really want to get on it. Instead of the tram, we can do this two person bike. I feel like we would immediately tip it over. One of us is going to lean the wrong way. I'm not very coordinated. I also don't think my butt can fit in between these handlebars, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. A little tandem bike going on. Can you imagine going down a hill on this? You, I will freak you out by descending oh, it. Yeah, you would go full send. Let us know if you guys would try out one of these. Or have you ever tried out a tandem bike before? Yeah. I know I just mentioned that I was really proud that we haven't taken any Ubers while we've been here, but we just caved. There's a place we really want to go to that's over a mile away and it's super hilly to get there. And and we just really, really don't feel like walking that far. It's 
supposed to be a pretty magical place we're going to, so I'm excited to show you guys. I guess we're here. How much was that Uber? Seven euros okay. altogether, because we got I got the XL, so we have more space. Oh, seats fancy. Go check this place out. I don't know if we need like tickets. I doubt it. I think it's free. It already looks kind of like Epcot a little bit. Here we go, just walking in. See? Epcot. Flower and Garden Festival coming on. I wouldn't mind like having like a picnic or something. Having what? I wouldn't mind having like a picnic or something here. Do you think they have alcohol here? We also forgot to mention the name of this park. It's called the Jardins do Placio de Cristal. It's busier than usual according to Google Maps. I think it's like the Gardens of the Crystal Castle. Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. <laughs> yeah. Are there peacocks over there? Oh, there are peacocks. Are they like approachable? Florida girl tries to feed peacocks. <laughs> All right, there you go. Your peacock with a long tail. What, you're not gonna go pet it? I thought you wanted to pet it. Well, then you said something and it made me... Oh, Ooh. oh my God. There you go. Wrong side, though. Damn it. Here we go. It's Gorgeous like, I'll darling. show you all. I love how it's like here. Look at me, look at me. That is impressive, so that is very impressive. I think it's trying to impress the female that's right there. It's right, my dude. We all kind of like strike out. This female must be a hot commodity over here. Because even this one, when she came close, he was like, what's up? What's the move? And this one's like, you up? Kind of reminds me of like Central Park in New York, where it has like the benches or like just like the pathway and like the trees that are covering over the path. Right now it is nice because it is not hot and it's not a lot of people, at least not yet. Yeah, it's like Central Park, but cleaner and less scary. I wonder who started this trend of like the city names in big block letters so people can take pictures with. Was it Amsterdam? Cause I feel like that's the first like city that I seen that to do that. I wonder if it's a thing that one city around the world can claim or if it's just kind of like- Everyone had the same idea all at once. Oh my god. <laughs> I love you. Sorry, that was kind of, I didn't do, that wasn't my best work. Yeah, it wasn't even good. One thing that we noticed about Porto, Portugal specifically, is that everything, everything is like a road here. Like there's no like designed parking spots or anything like that, but everything seems like a road. We're walking on this path right here, or walking towards this path, and a truck just pulls up. He you notice there's other cars here. I would have never known this was a road. It matches the sidewalk. Yeah, always pay attention to your surroundings when you're walking here, because there have been several times where we're just like walking somewhere where we think it's only pedestrians and a car pulls in. We finally made it. I've been wanting to come in here for a while now. This is the bookstore about like JK Rowling, how she was inspired here or wrote some of the Harry Potter there. And there's our favorite ice cream store. And then that is the line to get into the bookstore at 2.30. Is that if you have no ticket? That's if you have a ticket. Oh. And so I kind of splurged and spent 10 extra euros to get the express pass. And the guy said, you can literally just like walk right in. Okay. For 10 bucks, it's not bad. There you so go. no flash inside. Okay. You, have a discount, uh, you can ask for the book with my colleagues. So here is the bookstore. Look at that. This is so nice. This is like an old school bookstore. Oh, it even has stained glass windows in it. I feel like we just walked into Harry Potter world. The bookstore was so small, I had to like put my backpack on the front so I can walk around so I don't like swing it and hit anybody. That's how tight it is in here. It's a little preview for when we have a baby in the future. Yeah, hey, how are you doing? Oh God. Good thing that we got some practice walking up the tower yesterday because those stairs look tight. Looks like I found the section. There's another section right behind me of more Harry Potter books. This bookstore is also known as the world world's most beautiful bookshop. So if you were to Google that, this is it. All right, I think we're gonna try to do it and go up these tight stairs. We've made our way upstairs. A little staircase that actually wasn't too bad to climb up. Look at this beautiful ceiling. See any books you want? Uh, not really, but I feel kind of like overwhelmed right now because there's so many people. I'm like, I don't want to stop and get look for a book because it's a lot of people in here. It is extremely, extremely crowded. Make sure you plan enough time in your day, come in here. If you don't get an express pass, you're going to wait in line for a while. With the type of ticket that Fang got with the express, we get to pick from a certain section of the store a free book. And they have them in several different languages. I think we're going to try and find one in English. If it is a little more pricey than what the allotted amount is, you do have to pay the difference but other than that you get a free book look at this lore you have the tale of two cities pride and prejudice but where's the one i just saw the jungle book oh the, yes they have the jungle book but there's also a pinocchio oh adventures of pinocchio i think these are included in the free book i believe so yeah oh they have peter pan too anything that catches your eye honestly i might do moby dick 
Have you ever read that? Never read it. Hmm. Is it not a good book? I don't know. I just know it's really long. This is my selection. Edgar Allan Poe selected short is that, stories. Is that the Raven? Maybe. Oh, no, maybe. Yeah. It's a few different stories. Nice. That's a good find. I didn't even see that. I read a few Edgar Allan Poe poems and stories in high school, and I love that they're always a little bit creepy. Knock, knock, knocking on my chamber door. Um, so I got Dracula. I changed my mind from Moby Dick. I've never read Dracula. I've always heard about it, but I've never never read it. Maybe I'll check that out after you finish it. But also, we're gonna buy the Moby Dick one and give it away to one of you guys. Ooh. You can see at the top, it says, made in the most, uh, the world's most beautiful bookstore. So we'll leave instructions later on how to enter to win this book. What's up guys, Editor Fane here. With all the excitement, I noticed that we forgot to say, if you guys are new here and enjoying the content, or you wanna see some more content, make sure you hit that like button down below and also subscribe come check it out it's free and also you can always unsubscribe so why why not just try it out this little little trial period see if you like it or not no hard feelings but if you really want to get into it go ahead and hit that little join button down there next to the like button and see what it's all about but on all serious guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video now back to the video <laughs> i am so glad that i picked up those express tickets <laughs> and <laughs> didn't have to too. wait in that line but it was really nice we bought those books we only had to pay for the extra one that we bought so that was nice to actually get like free books on top of not having to wait well not free but you know what i mean yeah the books were pretty pricey though i noticed when she was ringing them up our total before she like took off our discount was like 60 something oh so like 20 something a buck for those small books and that's funny because i only paid 15 euros for the ticket per ticket and it got a more expensive book than the ticket yeah so we had to pay the difference and we also got that extra book for you guys so we didn't um, pay any difference we just paid for the book oh yeah okay so we just paid for the extra book laura i think peacocks actually mean something because on the building behind us at the top there's a peacock so beautiful i want i i feel like we're gonna have to look that up and see or by the gryffindor either well griffin i should say but gryffindor statue or fountain i want to dive in there right now that looks so refreshing it does. So here it is. This is how we're going to give away the Moby Dick book. If you want to enter to win the Moby Dick book that we picked up at the world's most famous library that inspired the great Harry Potter, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and follow us on Instagram at Travel Spree Official. We'll have that link down below. And then comment down below on this video, what is your favorite book of all time? And it has to be a comment on the video and not in the live chat when we premiere this video. Because we're not going to be able to see the live chat after this video is done premiering. And we'll ship it to anyone in the United States, in the continental United States. And we'll probably give it, I would say, maybe a week. We'll give it a week from this video. Part. So next Saturday, the following week, we'll announce the winner on YouTube in the community section and then also on Instagram stores. Next up, we are off to explore a very, very famous, world-renowned attraction. I guess we're going from one beautiful place in the world to another be most beautiful place in the world. Just wait. Can we just take a moment and like appreciate these buildings? Wow. I feel like we're kind of in France or something. It looks so cool. The world's most beautiful McDonald's. Look at this. Never seen something like that. Let's go get it inside and get something to drink. I want a spicy Sprite. Oh, that sounds good. You don't want a Dr. Pe or a Diet, uh, Diet Coke? I want a Sprite. Oh, that looks so good. They don't have that in America. It's so luxurious in here. All right, let's see what's on the menu. Let's see, I think I want to try like one of that dessert that we saw. Oh, look, they have a Snickers McFlurry, an Oreo McFlurry, Kit Kat McFlurry. I think I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, that one looks good. Egg topping. Ew. I'll, I'll send it. Add to order. I want the biggest Sprite they have. Do they have Sprite? I'm gonna be sad if they don't. I don't see Sprite on here. And then I want to do a burger because they had like a list of burgers and it looked different. So look at this. It has mushroom and truffle mayo. Do you want that? I'll do the big tasty. No, just the item. One McDonald's has stained glass. Like that is so weird. Not weird, it's just different, very unique. Also, they have chandeliers up there too. This McDonald's is way fancier than us. Saying I want to come here, I'm glad we we're able to come here. And hopefully the food is amazing. How's that Coke? How's the Coke Zero? Spicy enough for you? My oh my gosh. My brain is sizzling. Your eyes are watering. <laughs> is that what you needed? Yeah. And then here is my McFlurry. It came in this cup. I'm guessing they do away with like single use plastics here. It usually has a top on it, but this is like all paper, all cardboard. I think this is your spoon. Oh yeah, and that's even in paper. And I, I think it might be a wooden spoon. Remember how we were saying in Ship Shape how the snack wrap got kind of like discontinued in America? I got it for you. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same. First, I can already see that it's different because the snack wraps that they had in the US were like longer. This is also, it looks like a whole wheat tortilla. 
Does it bring back memories? It just like takes me back to college and like going to, I feel like I'm about to go to statistics like right after this. And for the finale. I'm gonna try my McFlurry. You guys can see right here. It's like, it looks like egg. I don't think so. It kind of looks like custard. I think it's egg. Like it's yolk. Oh, really? I think so. You want to try it? Yeah, that's egg. See, it's not bad. It doesn't taste like a straight up yolk, but it's not bad. Sorry, it just feels so raw. It does feel raw. It tastes good. Here is my final verdict for McDonald's in Porto, Portugal. I would come back to take pictures of the inside because it is beautiful. I would not come here if you're expecting like a really unique, cool McDonald's experience because in the end, it's McDonald's. I would just like to say that just so far today, it's like halfway through our day today. I have done 77 of 30 minutes of my exercise goal. I have burned about 600 calories of just movement and about 8,000 steps. Nice. Walked 3.27 miles, but while we, you know, we're probably eating a little bit more than usual, I do feel like we're being pretty active. I'm hoping it slightly balances it out, but we're gonna have to measure our progress again when we get back home. Yep, but I feel good about it. I don't feel overly stuffed or like sluggish, really. It's more like satisfied and let's keep moving. Laura, if I sit down right here, can you just like roll me down this hill? If you roll me next. How about we just like hold on to each other and roll together? <laughs> Straight to the hospital. After a couple of days, these hills start getting really brutal because like you're just putting all the pressure on your knee walking down the hill. So it's like, okay, I'm tired now. A little trick that I found is if you walk backwards, you take all the pressure off of like your Achilles and your knees and all that and put them on like your quads. So it makes it a little bit easier to like walk down. You just gotta be careful when you're walking down because you can possibly trip. Oh, Laura found a glory hole. <laughs> not a glory hole. Well, you guys, that is going to be it for our first trip to Porto, Portugal. Our first like European international trip ever. Together. Together. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming along with us, entertaining our crazy adventures that we want to go on. We really, truly appreciate you. If you enjoyed the series, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button right down below the video and subscribe if you want to see more of us. More travel content. And you can even hit that join button down below if you really like us and get a few extra perks and join our membership. Join program. our memberships. But yeah, that McDonald's kind of just kind of like knocked us out. We came back to the, the Airbnb and just like, done plus we have to leave for the airport at 3 a.m in the morning yeah not too excited about that but at the same time we do get back in the states around like 4 p.m so it's not too bad like we kind of have to it's kind of like a trade-off like you have to get up early but at the same time you still have like daylight when you get back and then the last thing that we were celebrating on this trip was our anniversary oh yeah that's so when we're flying back it is tomorrow so we're gonna be in the airport all day but happy five year anniversary oh thank you i enjoyed I love being you. here for seven years <laughs> covid added like two years so <laughs> relationship now. Love you. Love you too. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys hopefully on the celebrity equinox. Or hopefully before then. Yes. But anyway guys, we'll see you later. Bye travel squad. Don't worry, your body feels so tired.